One of my early sketch comedy uh, writing teachers gave me extraordinarily useful advice. Um, and she said to our class, listen, what you have to do when you're writing sketch comedy, when you're performing improv, is just amuse yourself. If you do a thing that amuses you, there's a very good chance that you will amuse at least half the audience. And the other half of the audience will be too embarrassed by not being amused to join in. And then you'll have an entirely amused audience. So I applied that as, um, as, as, a, as a philosophy, and so far it served me well. Let's see if it works a second time. Um, this is called If Robocop Was a Bad 1980s Sitcom. I wrote this on my blog about a week ago. Now listen, in this script, because honestly, when you type in your freaking blog post, if Robocop was a bad 80s sitcom, the way you really want people to respond is not, oh, ho, ho, that's hilarious, thank you for amusing me and causing a smile to grow on my face. No, what you really want is, um, here's all the ways you offended Robocop canon. Here's all the things you did wrong. Robocop never said those things. Also, why does the sergeant talk like that? It's offensive. Ed 209 is the one who said that. Because apparently, putting the title of the fucking blog post as if Robocop was a bad 80s sitcom is too difficult for some people to understand. <laughs> Internet. <laughs> so I now present to you if Robocop was a bad 80s sitcom. I am easily amused. So earlier today, my brain said to me, you know what would be funny? If there was a RoboCop sitcom where he was always screwing up, every time he did something, the other officers would put their hands on their hips, cock their head to the side and go, RoboCop! <laughs> and then he just shoots everyone. <laughs> I mentioned this to Twitter. A few people quickly replied with funny ideas of their own, and then I got excited and I made a thing. It looks, it looks sort of like a script. <laughs> Interior police headquarters, day. Robocop comes toward Cameron doing that weird marching walk thing that he does. He stops in front of a vending machine and precisely turns to face it. Flash cut to the Robocop POV. Through Robocop's heads-up display, we see the nutritional information of various items in the machine as he scans them. A can of soda has a mouse in it. A chocolate bar has traces of cocaine. And a bag of chips is actually a bag of fingernails and hypodermic needles. <laughs> All that skips by so fast, though, the audience doesn't really notice it consciously. It just sort of Tyler Durden's right into their living room. <laughs> a crosshairs appears on the HUD, and it selects a bag of oil-flavored microchips. They're actual chips with a cartoony, smiling Robocop driving, uh, drawing on the front. He's getting a thumbs up. <laughs> Other bag of chips. <laughs> Back to scene. Robocop puts a crumpled dollar bill into the machine, which spits it out. He does this three or four times. Robocop. Dead or alive, those chips are coming with me. <laughs> Laugh track. <laughs> Robocop. Accept my money. You have ten seconds to comply. <laughs> he tries to put the money into the machine. The machine spits it back out. Robocop, I have ordered you to accept my money. You have seven seconds to comply. He tries to put the money into the machine. The machine spits it back out. It falls to the floor. Laugh track. Robocop, you have attempted to assault a police officer with his own money. You are under arrest. An older, grizzled, grizzled sergeant comes out of his office down the hall. Sergeant, Robocop! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Robocop, making an arrest, sir. The sergeant rolls his eyes and shakes his head. Would you mind telling me how you're going to arrest a vending machine? Laugh track. <laughs> Robocop, by the book. <laughs> Laugh track. Sergeant, Robocop, you're crazy. Let me help you. The sergeant picks up the dollar bill off the floor. Robocop pulls his gun in a flash and points it at the sergeant. Robocop, you are tampering with evidence. You are under arrest. Sergeant, you can't arrest me, Robocop. I'm your boss. Robocop, you are under arrest. Sergeant, Robocop, I ain't got time for this.
after this, I retire in two days! Laugh <laughs> track. <laughs> Robocop. Arrest, arrest, uh, arrest, uh, arrest. Sergeant sighs. Ah, oh, damn it, you're stuck in a loop. I'd better reset you. Sergeant starts to walk towards Robocop, and the audience goes, Ooh. In my mind, this audience is the same audience for every episode of American the Children. The sergeant puts his hand on Robocop's shoulder. Robocop snaps out of it. Robocop, assault on an officer, use of deadly force is authorized. Robocop shoots about 10,000 bullets into the sergeant. Blowing him across the hallway where he hits the wall and slides to the floor, leaving streaks of blood behind. Sergeant, gasping, dying, yet somehow still alive. Smith's reference. Damn it! Robocop! I had two days till retirement! Sergeant dies. Robocop. Thank you for your cooperation. I am not arresting you anymore. Backtrack and cheers. Dozens of officers rush into the hallway, stopping short of the grisly scene. They look at Robocop, incredulous. Robocop turns back to the vending machine. Your move, dirtbag. <laughs> Suddenly, the bag of chips drops from the vending machine for some reason, startling Robocop. He whirls towards it and destroys it in a hail of epic slow motion gunfire. <laughs> Police officers, Robocop! Robocop turns to the camera and innocently shrugs. Freeze frame as the synthastic theme music plays. Audience cheers.